It's getting rough out here. Homeowners are seeking roommates to help pay for mortgage expenses. Who do you want to live with? Who do you want to live with? I have been talking about this continuously, time and time and time again on videos after video after video, letting people know that it is getting tougher for individuals to pay their mortgage. Interest rates are rising. Regular expenses like food and gas are sky high. And then on top of that, you have people overpaying for homes right now and they're getting hit over the head with property taxes and et cetera I just named. So it is continuing to get worse and worse out there. Let's jump into this guys. Homeowners are seeking roommates to help pay for their mortgages. More buyers in the US are opening up to the idea of renting out a room as expenses surge. Buying a home may seem like a distant dream for many in today's cutthroat housing market. That is, unless you're willing to share that dream with a roommate or two. With the average US mortgage rate above 5%, the home price is at record highs. Homeowners feel increasingly out of reach, particularly for the young, first time buyers to make it work. Some are renting out rooms or basements and using the extra income to help offset the costs. Now, like the article says, interest rates are above 5% and they're creeping and creeping and creeping up. You know, it was at 1.7%. We have the Fed continue to do four more rate increases. We also have property taxes increasing. Like I said, gas, inflation, all that other stuff. Everything is high, guys. That's the point. And people are continuing to steal to purchase homes that are overpriced, even with this interest rate. So what does that mean? Individuals are deciding, or maybe they bought a house last year and they didn't know that property taxes are gonna get raised on them. Maybe they didn't know that inflation was gonna get as high as it is. These individuals are now looking for other sources of income to offset mortgage costs, mortgage expenses. Okay, so let's talk about what mortgage expenses are. First of all, it's the mortgage. Let's, let's throw that in there. But the side stuff to the mortgage is insurance and then property taxes. Those are the main three things, the things that are going to be escrowed in. And let me tell you what, guys, all of those things, especially if you took an arm, the insurance and the property taxes, those are creeping up year over year, going higher and higher and higher and higher. So you have to be ready for that. And if you aren't ready for that, you will end up in a situation like this where you are trying to find roommates to help pay for your mortgage so that you don't end up losing the home. The practice which has long been accepted in the UK and other European countries is spreading in the US where the number of buyers who consider renting out a portion of their home for rental income rose 31% in 2021 from 24% two years earlier, according to uh, Zillow. I wanna look at this chart guys because this chart will show you exactly based on generations where we are when it comes to people deciding to get into you know, renting out rooms and what they want to rent them out for and why they're renting them out. We're gonna go ahead and look at this. Here's why some homeowners are renting out spare rooms for extra cash. Now, if you look at it, it's 29%, 35 cover expenses. The big one right here is to offset major home expenses, mortgage and insurance. That's what I really wanna you know, focus on because that's what this video is about, is focusing on that. So we see Gen Z, 24%, millennials, 33%, Gen Xers, 29%, baby boomers, 27%, guys, 27% for baby boomers. Now, I did a video about how property taxes are going up and for individuals, especially baby boomers, maybe they lived in their home for 15, 20 years, maybe the house is already paid off and the property taxes continue to go up on them, where are they going to get the additional income for that? Yes, you get the appreciation in your home. Everybody loves that. Your home went from 300,000 to 500,000 in a year, in two years. You get that, you love that. But you're gonna have to pay property taxes on them. And what if for the baby boomers, they have a only get social security or they only get disability. They have a set income, a pension, a 401k that they get you know, monthly, that doesn't change. So what are they going to do? How are they going to pay increased insurance and increased property tax? How are they going to cover that? Well, getting a roommate is how they're going to, to do that. And you would think baby boomers would not want a roommate. It seems like something a younger person would wanna do, but not a baby boomer, not someone that's a senior. But that's how rough it's getting out here, guys, where baby boomers are deciding to get a roommate to pay your mortgage, property taxes, and insurance. 
That's insane. <laughs> I would never think that. Of course, like I said, the younger person, yes, but not baby boomer. For some, extra rental income is the only way that they can afford to keep up with their mortgage payments and bills that are going through the roof thanks to roaring inflation. That's why 24 year old Josh and now his fiance went into the housing market looking for a property with additional rooms to lease. Now see, this is what I'm talking about guys. These guys went into the housing market looking to buy a home to rent out to someone. But look, everybody has, everybody, Everybody has their own definition of what they consider home ownership, but I would not suggest you go into the housing market with high interest rates, high inflation, overpaying for a home, and the only way you can afford it is get a roommate. How does that make any sense at all? That is mind blowing to me that someone would do that because this is exactly what it says. It says, for some, the extra income is the only way they can afford to keep up with their mortgage payments. The only way. We're not talking about just extra payments or extra income. You can afford it in general by itself, but the only way you can afford a home is with a roommate. With a roommate. I don't think this is a time for you to buy a home. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Their 2200 monthly costs would have been a stretch with their combined income. So they found a tenant on Facebook Marketplace who pays $1,000 in rent to live in the second bedroom, subsidizing 45% of their monthly housing bill. Now, <laughs> that sounds a little weird that you would go on to Facebook Marketplace. Maybe I don't know too much about finding tenants on Facebook Marketplace. It just seems a little shady, kind of like a Craigslist or something like that, finding roommates. Maybe that's normal. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know and I'm not in the end, guys. Let me know if I'm not in the end. If you think that's normal to find a tenant, someone you're going to be living with. We're not talking about a tenant where you rent to them and then you leave a tenant where you're gonna live with them, you guys share a house together. Now, if you think that's normal, then just put in the comment section, I would like to know. I just, maybe I'm out, out of loop on that. But I would think that that's not a good idea. But once again, if you have to do all of that just to purchase a home, I think it's not a good time to purchase. If you did a budget and you said $2,200, uh, that's gonna kill us. And the only way we can make this work is bringing in someone who's going to pay a thousand dollars. That should tell you right then and there. No, nope, no, nope, mm, I, I can't afford this. I should probably wait. There's probably something happening here that's forcing me to have to do this because I have to keep up with these high costs. And I, uh, you know, and it just it doesn't seem like it's going to work out. Then it's time to look elsewhere. Maybe rent for a couple of years or one year, kind of see how the market goes and then jump back into the market. Maybe it's not the best time. Affordability was already squeezing people. It's natural to think their biggest asset is their home as a potential stream of income. A homeowner in New Jersey, the extra income erased any doubts she had about having a roommate. I never considered renting out my basement to a stranger before. It's my house. It's my safe haven. But after I quit my job, I thought, wait, this can be my income. <laughs> now, this is what I was talking about, guys. Remember, this is what I was talking about, about individuals in this crazy economy. Everybody can do what they want, but it is probably not the best time to quit your job when stability is not there in this economy. When you think that there's plenty of jobs out here and then when you start seeing employees cut and get rid of employees and you think to yourself, where am I going to get a job? It seemed like the same situation happened to her. I don't know the backstory, but it seems like she quit her job and she thought she was going to get some, you know, maybe, maybe get another job somewhere else and she needed to figure out how she was going to pay her mortgage. So she was kind of forced into deciding, hey, I'm gonna rent out the basement to cover this cost because of whatever the situation is with her job. That is not a great financial way, guys, especially with costs rising over and over and over on insurance and property taxes and who knows what else, grocery bills, gas, all this other stuff that you have to spend your money on. But it is not a great decision to decide to just up and quit your job 
when you have all of these expenses and you don't have another job already behind it ready for you to start. Thinking that there will be just plenty of jobs out here for you to take. And once again, let me just explain, there are plenty of these lower end jobs, but when it comes to the higher end jobs, it's still a tough market, guys. I just want to lay that out there. But once again, guys, this is great information for you if you're deciding, if you're on the fence of buying, selling, renting a house, to kind of know exactly what's going on out there. And with events like this happen where you're having all generations out here deciding to do things like rent out rooms or take a basement and change that into something so they can generate more income just to meet mortgage and mortgage expenses, guys. The question is, is why would someone take their safe haven place if they weren't forced to do it by the increased cost of what's going on in the housing market and rent that out so that they can bring additional income or so the pressure won't be on them so that they, you know, don't quote unquote lose their home or get so far behind to where the risk is really heavy to lose their home. So like I said, guys, this isn't doom and gloom video. This is just information so that you can make the best decision for yourself. I'm gonna need you to check out this next video here. It will help you understand everything about this crazy housing market and also how to get into your first rental property. Also check in the description below it has some useful links guys on credit credit reports and our membership program i'll see you guys in the next one thanks